Neil from Essex here today to answer a viewer question in regards to an extra hole on a quick coupler. If you have a question for me, shoot a quick video and email it to youtube at messix.com. We'll see what we can do. Messix, a helping hand with your land. Good morning, Neil. Mark Schroeder in upstate New York. I got a question this morning on the coupler on my KX033 Kubota with this extra hole. Obviously, it looks like I can take the pin out of the arm, move it over, move the arm over and pin it again. Uh, but my question is, what do I gain by doing that? Obviously, it's changing the bucket angle. I don't know how much or anything. I can't find any details online. There was no manual that came with the uh, excavator or anything. And uh, I'm having a tough time finding anything at all. Um, if you could clarify that, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Have a good day. This is a really interesting question and one we actually get quite a few times in different contexts. When you look at different equipment, oftentimes you find what looks like extra unused holes and many times they actually do have a purpose. When we look specifically here at the quick coupler on this excavator, uh, you have this whole boss here in the back where we currently have this arm pinned into, but also this one right here. Now this also serves in order to align the bucket here into the quick coupler. But if you look here carefully, you are actually able to take this dog bone assembly right here, swing it back and pin through this hole as well. Now, why would you want to actually do that, right? Well, this is gonna change the geometry of some things back here out on the dipper. I went to our, call him the resident expert here on running excavators. One of our construction salesmen used to be an operator for about a decade or so. And when it comes to excavators, is a little bit more knowledgeable than me. Um, and his response was generally, you would never actually want to use this hole unless you were using something like a hammer, right? If you came back here and you swung this back, it's gonna cause the range of motion of this bucket when you swing back and forth to be able to rotate further. And that further rotation might allow you to be able to say, reach out into a difficult angle with a hammer that you might not be able to reach otherwise. Or say you have a bucket and you're really trying to curl back underneath of something, right? Maybe the, the angles that the machine typically runs in just aren't quite right and moving back here is going to change that. Now there are trade-offs here, right? When you come back here into this position, while you increase that rotational angle, you decrease the amount of power that it has, right? There's always gonna be some trade-off here between range of motion and power and we're gonna see this in several different pieces of equipment here as we look at other areas on some machinery. So this idea of having multiple holes exists in a lot of other places besides just the coupler of an excavator. We look here back at our tractor's three-point hitch some machines have additional holes back here on the three-point hitch lift arms or going out the arm here itself. Now, moving things around here is gonna have different impacts on your geometry. And if you look at this stuff and just think about it a little bit, you'll figure it out too, right? Uh, by bringing these arms here and using holes that are further out on the lift arm, you can effectively get some extra lift capacity out of your three-point hitch, right? So if you've got a heavy implement back here and you can't quite get it off the ground comfortably, unpinning this arm here and sliding it out into the hole further out on the arm is going to cause the tractor to lift closer to the implement and give you a little bit more capacity. Likewise, if you have an implement that's lift points are really low to the ground, I have a, a wood chipper that's this way. Um, I've had to go and take my three-point hitch arms and change the pins here so that this arm is closer to the ground. You can change its range of movement. Your top link up here often has extra holes on it too, and people, these are the first ones that people usually will ask about. This doesn't have the same capacity implications, but it can change the geometry as your implements go up and down. So if you find that as you're raising your three-point hitch up and down, things don't travel vertically, changing the geometry back here can impact the travel of that implement. If you'd like some free extra lift capacity out of your loader, 
and you happen to have an M-Series tractor, there's some easy adjustments that you're able to make here that are gonna impact your loader's lift capacity. Uh, these loaders come through with what's called a height hole and a power hole. These two holes here on the loader where your lower hydraulic cylinder pins into. And if you look at the specification sheet, you'll actually see references for some of the numbers depending on where this is pinned. Now this change here of just this two and a half inches or so has a difference between bumping your lift capacity about 10% in the bottom hole or giving you about an extra foot of lift height in the top hole. That small change there has a dramatic impact on the performance of your loader. I, to me, super cool. I do not understand why this is on, like not like on every tractor, right? It is a really simple mechanical change here that can tweak the performance of your loader for your specific application. So there's extra holes in your machine. Sometimes they do actually have a function, right? There's definitely cases where it might not actually apply to your specific machine, but if you sit there and you look at those holes and the different connecting points and geometries that are involved, sometimes you can find these cases where either power or range of motion can be tweaked in order to fit the application that you happen to have at hand. So if you're shopping for a piece of equipment and we can help, if you got parts or service needs for a machine you've already got, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.